on real stories of the Highway Patrol. You don't raise your voice to me. Hey, you hear me? If you will come down to the state police office and fill out... West Virginia state you, troopers bust up a family feud that draws blood. Where were you at, inside? Inside? Well, how'd you get that scratch on your face? That's your outside. Yeah. Where are you guys coming from? A good night out, I hope. A good night out? <laughs> no, where are you coming from? A good night? You tell me. A bad night. A Massachusetts state trooper looks for the answer. Lift your tongue up. How many drinks you had? Earlier? Yeah. You've had a few, haven't you? Go! A daring prison escape, a con hell-bent for freedom, set the stage for a desperate shootout. These are the real stories of the Highway Patrol. troopers in Massachusetts and Nebraska and highway patrol officers in California. What you'll see was videotaped as it actually happened. Right now we're in route to a uh, domestic uh, where there, we've had a subject trying to get in a house, get a female out. Uh, he supposedly broke out all the windows in the house. Last call also that they're now outside fighting. Uh, one of the troopers was closer. He's up there getting closer to scene, on the scene now. We're going to go in and back him up. I don't know if the legs broke. I mean, her arms broke, but he's cut her. I've got her in here. Okay. Uh, he's, he's beat this blazer. Okay. What's going on, Wolf? What's up, bud? No, hold on. She's up there in that blazer, you woe. That black blazer sitting up there. Yeah, take pictures of that there. Right there. Y'all feuding again, ain't you? Huh? Feuding again, ain't you? Hey, we're seeing how else you have to get started, sir. Yeah, I see that. Where were you at? Inside? Well, how'd you get that scratch on your face? That's coming from outside. Yeah. Back door. What are they down here feuding tonight over? Honey, I don't know. You want to take her on up to the hospital? Uh, she been drinking no, tonight? No. Honey? I'd say she has. Yeah. Common sense tells you to take her to the hospital. Yeah. Don't take her home. Take her to the hospital. That's where she needs to go. Look at her leg. All right. Won't you okay. take her on up there to the hospital? Take her to the hospital. That's where you're going to take her. All right. Will you guys meet me up there? We'll be up there, but take her straight there. Yeah. Listen, if you want to file charges against her on destruction of property, you come on down to the office. Yeah, damn, look at I my know. mommy's trailer, buddy. You don't raise your voice to me. Hey, well, you I'm hear me? Well, I'm sorry, but look at my mommy's trailer. I can trailer. see. Now, if you all want to find, who, who owns around. the trailer there? My mom does. Okay. Listen. Well, walk around it there and look at it. Partner, I can see it from here. It's a shame. Listen. On this right here, if you want to file charges against her, that's Miss Mirror. It didn't happen in our presence, okay? My mom just got out of the hospital, sir. Just now. I mean, it must have not been five hours ago. Here she comes. I don't have to see all this well, I'm, a, I'm trying to explain to your mom what to do, okay? Listen, as I was saying, on something like this, if you will come down to the state police office and fill out a complaint intake form, okay, we can get warrants for her on destruction of property, okay? And they will be served on her, okay? Honey, we can't arrest her tonight, and we can't be in Godby Heights all the time, okay? We try to get all, all, everywhere we can, folks, but we're that going, we're spread so thin. Okay? You okay? No. I know no. you're nervous. Your son said you got out of the hospital oh, today. Okay. You need that sick. ambulance or anything? You gonna be all right? I'll fight for you. Okay. Were they were they out here fighting or what? No, was no, she was the outside and he was inside. Where's, he, where's she at now? Tried to hold the door on her to keep her from coming in, but she pushed it. She came in. I said. I just got out of the hospital. I can't stand this fight. And I said, well, you've got to leave. leave. I said, don't do my trailer like this. So she kicked the storm door. She busted all the wind out of it. Have her and, her and your boy been out at all night drinking? Yes, they right? have. Okay. You, you know, what, a month ago, we were down here again. Yes, right. Okay. And it's getting to be a continuation. Okay. And how, I know your boy, he's old enough to make his own decisions. Me but. Too. 
If he's going to live around here and have her coming around, you're going to have to put up this. You need to let him go find him a new place to live, okay? You got Your mom and them are all going to come up Monday so they can go see the magistrate when he'll be in. That's where you have to get that from, okay? But uh, stay on away from her. My friends, I just wanted to show Okay. All right. Be careful, Lemon. All right, buddy. You take care of him. It's all right, Scott. All right, Bill. Okay. The female, uh, she's now going to Logan General Hospital to get stitches on her leg where she cut her on the wind. Uh, the family's been informed to come down and fill out a complaint intake form where we can then get warrants on destruction of property, uh, also to get a restraining order. No charges were filed by the mother against the girlfriend. No charges were filed by the girl against the boyfriend. There have been no calls at this location since this incident. How you doing? I was wondering why you're right, you know, right on my ass like that. Oh, okay. What are you doing? I was driving back to my girlfriend's house. Okay, where are you coming from? From my friend. Okay. You been drinking it all? I had a beer earlier. A beer earlier? A beer earlier, yes, sir. Okay. All right, what's your name? What? What? Yes, sir. All right. Put your gloves down, why don't you come out here a little bit? Step right over here, okay? You have any weapons on you at all? Right here. Nothing on me, sir. All right, put your hands on the car for me. Turn around. Thank you. All right, keep your hands up on the car, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, do you have an ID in here? No, I don't. You don't have your license? No, I don't. All right. We got um, back of papers. Yeah. That I usually use for uh. How many for, drinks you had? Earlier. Yeah. yeah. I, You've had a few, haven't you? I I had a beer earlier. I had a beer earlier. That's all I had, sir. One beer. One beer. I was working this morning for a couple of days. What do you do for work? I build houses. All right. What I want you to do, put your wallet back in. Put your hands right on the car and leave them there, okay? Don't don't move it around on me. Turn around. Just turn around. Put your hands up there. Have any weapons on you? No. Okay, put your hands up on the car, Scott. Just do it. All right. Just do what I tell you, okay? What do you do? You construction work at all? Yeah, I'm a painter. You're a painter? Yeah. All right, turn around, look at me. Where are you guys coming from? Well, good night out, I hope. Good night out? <laughs> no, where are you coming from? Huh? Where? Where? Yeah. Just around. Open, open your mouth. Come. Open. Lift the tongue. Out. There you go. Okay. Come. Come, come back here. Oh, all right, come here. You too, look at me. Open your mouth. Way open. Lift your tongue. Look down. Put your head down. All right. Right here. All right. Put your hands up on the car, both these, all right? Can I ask you one question? Sure. Um, what do you think we have? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Hey, my guess is much as yours. Your guess as much as mine? Yeah. Okay. Whose bag is it? Yours? You handed him. You handed him the hat. You were wearing it. Bag. Is that your bag of coke? No, it's not. It's not yours. Is it yours? Hmm? To yours? No. It's neither of yours. It's some thumber who uh, you dropped off. Some guy you dropped off. It was his hat. Yeah. He handed you. He was wearing it when he was driving. and no, he handed it, it over to you. No, it was just in the back. Are you sure? We grabbed it. Uh -huh. And we took off. You know? How far along in school did you go? Seventh grade, sir. Stand up, look at me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, that was better. All right, come stand on this smooth surface right here, okay? And, and look down, a little downhill will be easier for you. Look down at me. Okay, now I just want you to put your hands on the car, okay? There you go. 
Yeah. 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 Possession of cocaine. First time. After I pat for some both, I, I looked, picked the hat off of the passenger's head. I saw a, a bag of uh, powder sticking out of the brim. I had put it back on, on the hood um, without taking the coke out because I didn't want them to take off on me. If I pulled the bag out, they knew I had. They made a, made a run for it. Both the driver and the passenger were charged with possession of cocaine. They each face up to one year in jail and a $1,000 fine. The driver was also charged with OUI, failure to use caution, marked lane violation, defective equipment, and driving while suspended. He faces a possible two and a half years in prison and $10,000 in fines. They were released on personal recognizance pending trial. If I had my flashlight and I go like that, he just punched it. I took the flashlight. I'm, I'm gonna put the windows not busted out. Next, dangerous suspects on the run try to take out the California Highway Patrol. I mean, it's in the floorboard in the back unless you move it. Coming up, an escape con hell bent for freedom shoots it out with the Nebraska State Patrol. out of pursuit and uh, from what it sounds like I think the vehicle tried to run over the officer that's what the dispatcher said so with a deadly weapon using a vehicle on a police officer at that time what did I do you hit, when you, you stepped out in front of the car and what happened? Then you hit the side what did I do when I stepped out in front of the car? You pressed the light on to him to stop. Right. Uh, did, did you hear me yelling at him to yeah, pull over yeah, and signaling yes, him? Yes, I did. And what did he do? I told him to stop, but he kept going. And he accelerated straight forward. Yeah, then you, you hit the passenger window, window with the flashlight. He saw the officer. Yes, the he car. did. He seen the officer. So then basically, he's trying to run over the officer, isn't he? As I, as I approach you, she yells at him, Sir, come here, I want to talk to you. And he takes off running around the back of the car to the driver's door. He gets in the front of his car. I said, hey, come here. I stepped out in the lane, had my flashlight, and I go like that. He just punched it. I took the flashlight. Bam! I'm, I'm the miracle. The window's not busted out. And he just took off. I mean, he's, he maintained a speed of about, he was at 80, about 80 on the freeway, and he maintained probably a good 75 on the off-ramp. And, uh, and what... We'll, I mean, as we're putting out the words pursuit, he comes to a screeching halt for the red light. So that's that's the extent of it. We stop him, and we take him out of the car. There's only two in the car, so we go ahead and cuff him and search him up. You got any ID on you? Yes, I do. Okay, spread legs park. You got any guns, bazookas, no, any aircraft no, missiles, no, needles, no, anything like that no, on you? No, I don't carry okay. no guns. So you know nothing about this gun that was in the, in the no, floorboard? You know, grab his car as long as I'm do it. All right, make him do it. Well, and there's a type of knife here. Your like Rambo type knife. Has a compass and some little sharpening uh, stone here. Car phone. I don't know why you would want a crowbar in the front of your vehicle unless you're changing your tire at the time. But this can be used as a weapon, obviously. Are you drinking tonight? Excuse me? Have you been drinking tonight? I drink a beer. Drink a beer? Has he been drinking tonight? Yeah, he, he has. Do you know what he was drinking? No, I don't. No? Did you guys make any stops between here and Linwood? Nope. What about when you're stopped on the no, freeway he, back there? When he stopped on the freeway, he got, he got to the court to use the bathroom. So he did get out to use the bathroom? Yes, he did. Do you That's know hard. if this is his car or not? I don't even know this is his car or not. Okay. I'm not saying nothing. I haven't did nothing. The driver was charged with attempted assault on a police officer, evading arrest, possession of a concealed weapon, and DUI. He faces a possible seven years in jail and fines up to $13,000. He was released to await trial. The passenger was not charged. <laughs> Nebraska State Troopers provided our next real story. It begins with a jailbreak and goes on to demonstrate the courage and quick thinking of Nebraska State Trooper Harold Nyhart. This one's okay. Yeah, this is okay. 
Gerald Morton has been a bank robber for nearly 30 years. His specialty is breaking into safes. He's also served time for grand larceny, stolen firearms, and assault on a federal officer. Workers have left a cutting torch locked in an empty cell. Morton, who's escaped from three prisons across the country, uses the torch to cut open an escape route. All of the escapees are captured almost immediately, except for the mastermind, Gerald Morton. Trailed by the FBI, he avoids capture by them and the Omaha Police Department. Hey, I got a couple. Trooper Harold Nyhart is having breakfast with his family before starting his day shift. Okay, I'll get you some. As he leaves home, Nyhart is one of the troopers put on alert. Now desperately running from three law enforcement agencies, the convict has been driving the back roads of Nebraska. Hi. After running out of gas, Hi. he asks a farmer for help. Yeah, some gas I can buy. No, nope, but I can take you to the gas station if you want me to. Thanks. Come on, car over here. Nebraska troopers set up checkpoints throughout the area. What's happening there? I don't know. Looks like they're talking to someone. Make a left right here. But this one's closer. But I got a credit card for gas station just down the road here. The escapee avoids another trap. Trooper Nyhart has been checking all the back roads just outside of Springfield. Have you seen any unusual things this afternoon? No, not really. Anybody speeding by or anything? Seen anything? Yes, this man says that his brother says he might have taken him for gas. He's at the farm. It's two miles east, two miles south, four miles. Get in. Is that your brother? Where's the owner of that car? Over in the barn. Come on over here. The trooper's pistol deflects a deadly bullet. A trooper alone and under fire when we come back. From a Memphis prison. He manages to avoid capture by the FBI. On the run in Nebraska, he's tracked to a remote farm by Trooper Harold Nyhart. Can I get some help here right away? shot graces the fugitive's foot. Give me more shells! Get your hands way up and move over here! The fugitive was convicted of shooting with move. intent to kill and served five years of a 20-year sentence. While on parole, he disappeared and was finally recaptured in South America. He died in prison of cancer. One of the toughest moments was when I got hit. I knew I wasn't seriously hit, but I knew somebody was coming. And the longer I could hold out, I knew somebody was gonna come sooner or later, and then the event would be over then. Harold Nyhart suffered only a superficial wound and was treated and released. He received Nebraska's first award for valor continues to be a major problem in our nation, and some say a problem with no clear solution. In many areas, we see crime undermining the belief that we can be safe in our own homes. But not all are standing idly by and doing nothing. Organizations like Neighborhood Watch and Crime Alert find neighbors shoulder to shoulder in a cooperative venture to reduce or eliminate crime in their neighborhood. These programs rely on people banding together to help each other. If enough people take enough interest, the crime problem isn't beyond solving. Contact your local law enforcement agency and learn how you can be part of the solution. Adam 
7 Pearl City. I'm going to have my radios off for a jump start. 10-7. I'm off my nice check. From the men and women of the Highway Patrol and State Police Agencies of America, thank you for watching.